My name is Eagle Child. I come from Alberta. I come from the Saddle Lake First Nations Reservation, which is uh, of the Cree Nation. I had grew up mostly in Edmonton, which is southeast of that. Um, the rest, my mother was uh, from that reservation, uh, but did not want to live the reservation life, so she moved to the city, got her teacher certificate, and that's where I grew up. I basically led a fairly normal life. I did a lot of athletics, came really close to professional sports. I uh, do have a university degree. Uh, being still involved with sports, I actually my degree is I have a, an education degree with a phys ed, physical education major, which I actually I never used when I got finally got my degree. I really didn't want to be part of the system as it was, and as spiritual things go, I was led into being a silversmith. I started working with the spiritual energy of minerals. And that got me involved with the silversmithing and uh, another aspect of the native culture in terms of their minerals and the way they looked at that part of living. Uh, I continued to be involved with the native culture. I was involved with a few organizations in, in Calgary where I uh, had moved from Edmonton. And uh, it was there that I gained my first teacher, which was a Soto medicine man. And, it was through him that I became a pipe carrier and also at the same time I received my my name. Uh, I'm a little unorthodox in that I use my native name publicly. As a matter of fact I, I did change my name legally took out my Christian name and, and put in my my native name which came through ceremony I did have to pay for it it was something that uh, I was told when I received it that I would have to give up something of value, which I did, and the way that it was explained to me that the spirit of the bald eagle came in and left the name Eagle Child, which I feel very honored to have received. Not knowing the history of it, it some of it came up later, and which was really another piece of the honor of carrying that name. I have continued in that whole field. I've been around the silversmithing, and when I had moved, I moved down to Arizona for a number of years and a uh, special place called Sedona and the whole spiritual aspect of Sedona is what drew me there and I was there for quite a few years and it was there that someone gave me a flute and uh, got into this horrendous bicycle accident and in order to get my finger dexterity back I started playing the flute and Lo and behold, I got good pretty quickly. I'm self-taught. And I got into the studio pretty quick. And then from there, I started doing weddings and different gigs. And so the flute is, you know, it's one of the things that I do primarily as well with the silversmithing. Uh, but one thing that I do continue to do is have a, uh, very much an involvement with the Native culture. Although being here in Vancouver, I haven't had any, any ceremonies, but when I was in Arizona, I had, I had quite a few pipe ceremonies and a lot of different things like that. And it was really quite, I was really quite active in that area. I hope to sort of pick that up a little bit over the next little while, but one never knows. It, it all depends. We'll see.